Hey guys, Quiv, the Lazy Geek here, and today I want to talk about this cover, my Telegizmo 365 uh, cover, which, as its name would imply, is designed to protect your equipment 365 days a year, 24-7, under all kinds of weather, and everything's going to be awesome. And that cover, uh, spoiler alert, is actually pretty good, but also spoiler alert, it's not magic. It still has to obey the laws of physics, unfortunately. And so I've had this for two years, almost two years, uh, two years minus four days uh, right now. And it's changed completely uh, my rate of imaging. When I did not have this, I was too lazy to set up far too often. With this, I can actually set up very often because I am going to show you how my setup procedure looks like. Um, so let's say I come back from work, I get on the balcony, up, I'll remove the cover. Here we are. I'll remove the dust cover. I'll remove the guide scope cover. And goodbye, I'm going inside to do my imaging run. So that's about it. That's the only thing I do. It's awesome to be able to just do that. Of course, if you have a dome, if you have a big garden, if you have a big piece of land, like many people in bigger countries than Japan do, um, then you don't need that kind of stuff. And it comes with its very significant drawbacks. Uh, but just this, being able to do this is absolutely excellent. So this little thing is permanently, permanently here on my balcony. It's polar aligned, although it's raining. It's raining, guys. It's raining. Damn it. No. Ah, no, I forgot. The dust cover. Dust cover. Everything's gonna be fine. It was not supposed to rain. It was not supposed to rain. It was not supposed to rain. Okay. Whew. We're good. I'm gonna come back once it's not raining, but you can see how quickly it is to put back on here. So it can be very useful when you're in a hurry to cover your equipment, just like I was right now. Okay, I'll be back. And we have a, a small break in the rain, so we can go back to this. Let me remove this poor cover again. I will keep the dust caps on the telescope though. I don't want to uh, get the optics, optics full of, uh, of water. But okay, here we are. So this actual model of the uh, of my Telegizmo cover is a, for an eight inch SCT on an alt as mount. The fact that it works for an eight, eight, eight inch newt on an EQ mount is awesome. So they have quite some leeway in the space. Now to show you a bit how this is made. So. The outside layer here is very solid um, and waterproof, also windproof from what I can tell material, which is extremely solid, extremely um, resistant to everything. And inside we have some kind of aluminum, it's not aluminum, but some kind of like flexible layer there to reflect light and eat, heat, something like that. It's something like blah, 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 NASA, blah, 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 outer, outer space, blah, 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 awesome kind of material. Um, so, which is made, this is like apparently the secret recipe that ma makes this cover different than everything else. And, you know, I'll, I'll just believe the marketing hype. I haven't compared with any other cover because I don't want to take the risk to break my uh, equipment. So, um, one of the things we see is that under that aluminum cover, there's actually a red kind of layer that looks more like a standard tarp kind of uh, material. I have no idea if that's the case or not, but it's underneath. And here immediately we can see something that is a weakness of that particular uh, cover is that the uh, aluminum on that layer there is, um, is not very resistant. So if you have it on top of the scope and there's a lot of wind, that thing can actually catch onto some of the angle, angular stuff of the mount or the equipment and get ripped off inside, right? So you actually want to secure uh, this to have like some kind of hooks which come with the cover to uh, basically secure them to the, to the equipment very 
um, to have a very tight fit so that the wind cannot, it cannot flap in the wind and thus damage your cover. And so that's one thing to take into account, but still, I've used this thing for two years, it's still in a very decent state and I really, I really like it. So there's small, you know, holes here, there's a small hole here, uh, but overall it's in quite a quite good condition, which is, uh, which is very much appreciated. Now, this thing, it's, in the end, it's a cover. It's not uh, magic. So one of the things is that at first I was just using it like, you know, believing the hype and forgetting about like, you know, small details like dew. Um, and I didn't use anything other than the cover for like six months, including in the super humid Tokyo summer. And then one day I went to my telescope, it was um, an eight inch SCT, uh, fortunately something I had to salvage for almost no, no money and repaired. Um, and it was full of water. Well, yes, inside the SCT, it was full of water. Um, the screws were wrecking, re getting rusty, it was horrible. So that's the thing though, with this, the bottom part is always open at the level of the tripod, which means that whenever there's um, evaporation going on from under the tripod, especially after rain or under very humid weather conditions, like here in Tokyo, or I would say it's more or less equivalent to Florida in the United States, um, we get a lot of dew forming up in here and it can get very watery very quickly. And uh, the overall solution that most people recommend is uh, desiccant inside uh, the, um, the cover. Now, to give you an idea of what impact this had on, my, on one of my cameras, my uh, 160mm Pro, uh, cool, sorry, from ASI, I'm gonna show a picture right now with, uh, you can see rust on the fan, um, on the enclosure of the fan, and this is because I used it without desiccant. So something to keep into account. Now the desiccant that I have is this. It's you know replaceable kind of throwable desiccant. It's not very eco-friendly, and there are many people who use like desiccant that can be renewed or electric thingies. Uh, I just like put this desiccant in a little bag that's actually done for laundry and that I bought at a hundred yen shop so at the dollar, dollar store basically and I just hang it here and it makes all the difference in the world. Uh, once I started doing that I didn't have any issues whatsoever with any water inside the cover. I haven't seen it even in the super humid Tokyo weather conditions. Um, that being said I have one advantage is I am on a roof balcony uh, so there's no grass under the scope. I think if there were grass under the scope, it would be worse. I might need two of those and I've heard of people actually putting towels on top of the scope uh, wherever the cover could come into contact of the, of the scope because this is where dew, if it forms, would concentrate to like, you know, flow down the telescope. So to have covers on top of the scope to make sure that the dew doesn't, uh, you know, intrude there, which I think is a good idea. I haven't really done it, but maybe I should. I'll see uh, next summer. Now, these desiccant packets in summer, they get full every three days, maybe even every two days. So really not eco-friendly, but they have the advantage of being very cheap. So with this cover, uh, and I've had, I've had no issues since I started using desiccant. I mean, I even have a computer there that's always attached to the scope and that you know has no issues. It's been there for two years and no problem. The fan spins without any noise, it's great. Um, not like not an issue at all. Um, there is a bit of rust like on the counterweight kind of uh, securing bolt there. Um, slight amount here on the bolts of the mounts, but very, very little. So one of the things that I am painfully aware of is definitely you're, you are exposing your mounts to adverse conditions with the Telegismo cover. It's a very well built cover. I don't know how well it keeps the temperature inside. I can tell that in the evening when I come back and I touch the camera, it gets, it's, it's quite, uh, quite warm. So that's um, something to take into account. And on top of that, um, when, you know, uh, 
there is degradation in the equipment. You can see rust, right? It's not very visible if you use the second, but I'm pretty sure that the lifespan of my equipment is getting lower by using this. It's very good quality, but it's not magic, unfortunately. And the reason though it's still better for me is that I'm getting much more use out of my equipment than otherwise. I'm pretty sure that even if this equipment dies in like three years under this cover, uh, I will have used it more than if it, had, if it had lasted 10 years without a cover because I don't have to set it up. It's all about the convenience. So it's a trade-off um, between like lifespan of the equipment, which I can tell is gonna be lower and uh, actually convenience of using the equipment and how long you've actually used the equipment for. And I think that makes all the difference in the world. And that's, you know, uh, my quick review of this Telegismo cover. It's not magic, but I think it's as good as can be. Uh, basically, you just do need to be careful with it and use the second at all costs. And that's pretty much it. So thank you for watching this. If you liked it, if it was useful, click like and also subscribe. There's tons of good content coming up, coming up in the following videos. And um, thank you so much for watching and see you next time.